In the dental field, we have three motors we typically use. The first one would be a high-speed handpiece, as well as a slow motor that has two attachments, those attachments being either a straight angle attachment that goes onto the slow motor or a contra angle attachment that goes onto a slow motor, as well as a hygiene handpiece that is typically used for profi polishing. The high speed handpiece is only used by a dentist and it's used to reduce and cut down the tooth structure, prepare the tooth for a crown, or remove decay. Initially, you need to first attach the high speed handpiece to the dental unit by lining up the holes at the bottom of the motor to the attachment on the dental unit. You would then take a burr to insert it into the high-speed handpiece. There are different types of burrs. One that goes in the high-speed handpiece, which is usually a friction grip burr that is smooth at the end, as you can see on the right. And on the left, the other type of a burr is for the slow motor contra angle latch back. And you can see that the latch has a groove at the bottom so that it can fit in to the latch and lock in place. Those are used for contra angles. For the high speed handpiece, we are going to use a friction grip burr, which has the smooth ends, and the doctor will have his preference of which burr he would, would like to use for that procedure. There's different burrs, 557, 330s, so it'll just be your doctor preference. To insert the burr, you're going to be using a push button high speed. So you push and hold in the button in the back to insert the burr and give it a nice tug to be sure that it's locked in place. So at the back of the high speed, there is a push button. You push the button in and hold it in, insert the burr into the hole in the front, let go of the push button and it's locked in place and give it a nice tug to be sure. To remove the burr, you push in the button on the back of the high speed, which unlocks it, and you pull out the burr. The rheostat is the pedal on the floor that is what is pressed to make the motors go. After the assistant inserts the burr into the handpiece for the dentist, you always want to press the rheostat to make sure that the burr is locked in place. This is the motor itself, this is the straight attachment, and this is the contra angle attachment. They have openings in the bottom that will snap on each piece. You first want to connect the slow motor to the dental unit, lining up the holes and twisting and locking it in place. You then will take the attachment, this is the contra angle attachment, and you just snap it in place and it will lock on. The latch in the back, when it's facing parallel, is closed. When it's open to the side, it is open, allowing you to insert the burr. You would then take your latch back type burr with a groove at the bottom, and you would insert it into the contra angle into the hole. You would then close it, close the latch to lock it in place. And the latch will not close if the burr is not fully inserted in. The back of the contra angle has the latch. The latch is in the open position because it is to the side. You insert the latch back burr, make sure it locks into place. You'll feel it slip in. And once it's in, you then slide the latch in the back and that locks it in place. You always want to give it a nice tug to be sure that it is locked in. You would then press the rheostat, which makes the motor go, to ensure that the burr is locked in place. 
to remove the burr, you would simply unlock the latch in the back by pushing it to the side and remove the burr. Now let's watch that again. The straight attachment is typically used with an acrylic burr or some type of polishing burr. And to insert that burr into the straight attachment, you would turn the top and the bottom of the middle of the straight attachment opposite directions counterclockwise to lock and unlock it. You would press it the top one direction, the bottom the other direction. You will hear it click and it's unlocked and you can take out or insert your burr and then you want to lock your burr. You always want to press the rheostat pedal on the floor after you insert a burr to make sure it is locked in place. The hygiene handpiece is usually used for polishing. It has its own motor and an attachment of a disposable profi angle. That's the motor, and this is the disposable profi angle that is single use. You must attach the hygiene motor to the dental unit by matching up the holes. For the hygiene handpiece and the disposable profi angle, the hygiene handpiece doesn't have a lock and unlock mechanism. The disposable profi angle just slides on and off. There is a notch on the profi angle and a button on the motor that you can see lines up to lock it in place. To take off the disposable profi angle, you just pull it off. It might be on there very snugly, but you just pull it off dispose of it since it is a single-use item.